Welcome everybody to another edition of Dan's Grand Valley Railroad. Uh, this will be part number two of weathering the AccuRail boxcar this week. Uh, as you remember, we did part number one last week, and this week we're going to be finishing it up and uh, getting that all done and uh, on the road. Um, I just want to thank all you new subscribers and all you guys for checking out my channel. It's been a fun week of... Uh, uh, doing a couple of the challenges. Uh, I did Uncle Wilmer's challenge and uh, Sparky's challenge and uh, finished up with Heath uh, Humanity Junction's uh, challenge. Uh, so blame Heath uh, challenge where I had the, uh, the background over there actually fell down and broke a bunch of stuff. So uh, <laughs> that was a nice blooper. But uh, Again, thank you guys for uh, liking and subscribing. I really appreciate it. All your comments are very well appreciated, and I try to get to all of them and answer. But uh, thank you so much. So uh, num part number two of weathering the Accurail boxcar. Let's get to it. Okay, so since last week, um, I you know this is how it came out from last week's video looks pretty darn good. I've got a lot of streaking and stuff. Um, I am going to do just a little bit more along here on the roof, kind of some, just a little bit of rust running down. And uh, I want to use this uh, Vallejo rust texture. And I did a little bit of it, bit of it right along this bottom edge here. <laughs> And it really looks good. It looks like rusted metal that's deteriorating. And I'm going to do just a little bit more, especially where the trucks are going to ride. And I want to do a little bit of it along this top edge here. And uh, it, it really has a little bit of a rough texture to it. So it's, it's pretty good. So we're going to be doing that. And then I took some of the, uh, the paint from the rust kit, the rust uh, and chipping effects. And this is actually surface primer. But it's a real good dark red, you know, very rusty looking color. Put it in a cup here, and I want to do the wheels. Now, I threw away the plastic wheels from the, the kit, uh, and I've got these KD number 520 uh, 33 inch smooth back freight wheels, and they work really well with the kit. And the trucks actually work pretty good too that come with the kit. Um, they're plastic, but they do work well with these KD wheels. They spin real nice and free. So we're going to be doing just a little bit of weathering on the trucks and the wheels, and then we'll, uh, we'll do a little bit more on the undercarriage on the bottom. I went ahead last week and glued in the metal weight for it. And, uh, so that's in now. One thing that I'm a little disappointed with, with this, and it came this way in the kit, this metal step on this end, you can see there's one on all four corners. This one was bent back a little bit when I got it out of the kit, and when I straightened it, it broke off. I glued it, and it was glued on uh, all week long. I figured it would hold, but just a little while ago, I picked this up, and it broke right off. So... I'm just going to smooth that out, and we're going to go without that step. Um, it's kind of a shame, but if you've ever tried to glue these little steps on, they always end up breaking back off again, especially on a car that you use a lot. So that one's going to be missing. Uh, it's going to have rusted off and be gone. Uh, still have the other three. So let's get started with that. All right, I'm taking the the trucks and uh, just some of my rust effects um, paints here, different colors. I've got light yellow, orange, uh, brown rust, and I'm just taking it on a, on a real small brush here and just sort of dabbing it in these springs and I'm finding the yellow, the light yellow works kind of best. Go with a little bit of orange in there as well. Just do that. And then I'll do the same thing over here. I hit it with a little bit of brown, but we'll do a little bit of orange here. Just lightly. Nothing huge. Just like that. 
We'll do the other one here. I haven't decided which color I'm gonna do for the wheels yet. Probably the orange or yellow. I'm finding this orange, the bright orange works best, shows up best against the black, like that. And just hit it with a little yellow as well. Now, if you get too much, what I found, just take it over here and blow it off. <sighs> Used my rag a little bit and just gave it a, a huff and a puff and I just blew it, blew it off. So let's just go in here like this. I think these trucks are gonna look better. Uh, less is more, I'm not gonna overdo them. We'll have to figure out how we're gonna do the, the hubs of the wheels. All right, just like that. We'll let those dry for a little while. Now I want to take, I'm going to clean my brush, and I want to take a little bit of this uh, rust texture. And I shook it up already earlier, and I let it set upside down to try to get rid of some of the, the foam that happens to develop on there. I don't like that. So uh, I'm just going to come come right along this edge and just emphasize where these trucks are like this and I'm just gonna do little downward and almost upward like uh, rust would splash up you know water and stuff would splash up and contaminate this under here so just kind of like that now do the other side here a little bit more get, get a little paint on here I really like this rust effect, rust texture, I should say. We're gonna do right under the doors too. Now I got a little bit there that I didn't want, so I'm just gonna wet my finger a little bit and wipe it away, no big deal. Let's get it while it's wet and it'll come right off if you make a mistake. Okay, now I want to do just a little bit along the top edge here, just a little. I don't want to overdo this either. I'm going to clean my brush and I'm just going to, I did it inside the ladder rungs here, but I just want to smear it. So I wet my brush and I'm just going to kind of smear it a little bit like that. Cool. I'm liking this. It's looking good. Okay. A little bit more along this edge. This is the other side. So we're just going to do a little bit along this edge here, over the doors, and just along this edge here. A little bit of water, wipe that off, wipe it down just so it's not too hard of an edge, just like that. That's good. I'm liking it. All right, um, now I'm going to take and do just a little bit more of the rust streaks along the top here, uh, just to emphasize that. Let me uh, reset here and close this so I don't spill it all over everything. Okay, now I'm gonna take the uh, the light rust, yellow I think, and maybe, maybe orange. Let's start with orange. Clean brush here. And if the brush bristles are starting to separate on you, just get more paint on it and then wipe off what you don't need. 
but I was thinking about it over the, the week and I thought, you know, I want a little bit more rust that started under the catwalk and then streaked down along these ridges and then hit the edge here and then, of course, streak down just like that. So I'm just going to pick out a couple of places where I think that would happen. So let's try like right here. Under that catwalk, that water gets up in there, then down, and then down. Let me let me streak it down here like that, and then I'll wet my finger just a little, and then boom, like that. This is what I did on the engine house. Uh, roof as well. Just picking out some places that look prime for some rust buildup and then streaking down like that. And it's just subtle, not doing too much. Over here, this will be good right here. Hit that down. It's going to streak down here. Grab a little yellow with it. Yeah, that's good right there. See that streak? Let me make sure I'm on camera here. Yeah, streak right down there. Like that. Great. Going to do the other side here now. I've already got some of it going on, but I just wanted to emphasize it a little bit more. Up under that catwalk. Down. Down. Like that. I want to do one right across that Santa Fe logo. So I'm going to say the rust... It's going to uh, start right about here. I've got some there already. Let's do a little more. And uh, yeah, down like that. And then yeah, I want to hit that Santa Fe logo. So let's do right here. And then let me get a good amount here. There we go. Now it's a bit much. There is a, a protruding metal thing there, like a bracket or something. And I got a little bit much, so I'm just going to wet my finger, streak it out like that. And I'm going to leave. Got just a little bit going on that Santa Fe logo. Just like I wanted. A little bit more here, just emphasizing. I want to do a little bit more streaks on the doors here, uh, right on the middle. Like that. And like that. And then that's a bit much, so wet the finger, dab it. like that. Let me get my dry brush. I've got a little bit more than I want right here. I don't like that. So I'm just going to take the dry brush and swoosh it away. And it never really 100% goes away. And it looks good now. So that's what I wanted there. So, all right, I'm pretty satisfied with this. See what you guys think. Um, the front, it's got Plenty of good uh, streaks and stuff. And I've got that nice rust texture down along the bottom, along the top edge. That's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. So set that aside. We're going to do a little bit more on this bottom part. We already did the trucks. We'll do the wheels, and then we'll put it all together. Okay, I got a, a flat brush now. And I, I did a little bit of rust right along in here, along this main beam. But now I want to get just some, I think I'm going to use this uh, primer, this brownish primer. And I want to just hit some of these wooden boards along here like that. Just to give it so it's not just the black from the kit. And I got a little bit much there, but that's okay. Kind of like that. Uh, it's a little bit much, so I'm going to wash my brush and then I'm going to just... Sort of hit it with water and diffuse it a little, just like that. Get my dry brush. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. I think I'll add a little bit of brown to that. Let me wash my brush out. And I've got some brown here. This is all part of the rust effects kit. And I'm going to brown that out just a little bit. Yeah, 
liking that better. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Kind of mixing of the two here, just giving me sort of a, a different mixture of colors on those boards. I just want them on the boards there underneath. There's a lot of road grime and dirt that splatters up there. It's not just going to be black and it's not going to all be rusty either because it's there's dirt, so. All right, that's pretty good. Let me take my dry brush. I got a couple of places that are heavy. I don't want pooling some of those places like that. There we go. Even that out a little bit. All right, that's looking pretty good. It's given me a kind of a rustic look, not brand new. Now, I do want to do just a little bit more rust and stuff on these metal fixtures that are down here because they, they didn't get a whole lot last week when we did this. But I want to just emphasize that there's some metal down here that's and that's a little bit yellow, so I'm just going to take a little of my orange mix in there with it like that i'm not gonna worry about it too much let's get a little more of that orange there okay got a little bit much on that there so let's get that there we go that's perfect so i got just a little bit of rusty <laughs> yellow color on there and that's good i'm gonna leave it like that i'm I'm liking this. So now we'll figure out uh, what color to make the, the insides of the wheel hubs and uh, then we'll put it together and uh, see what we have. All right, so I'm just using the, the orange here and I'm just taking the, the wheel itself. Now these I think are coated with something, either oil or, or something. They don't paint real well, but uh, I'm just taking a little bit of that and going right around like that. I'm not going to fuss with it too much. It's going to show that there's some rust there on those wheels. So actually after this dries, it'll be a coating of paint on there. And I can come back and uh, hit it a little bit more. But this will at least give the indication that these aren't brand new black wheels. So let's see how how these come out. And there we go. Um it's pretty much finished. I um went ahead and put on some KD number 148. Uh, those are the whisker couplers. They're a center shank, center set shank, I should say. And uh, that's what I use pretty much on the whole layout. Uh, I'm in the process of actually uh, changing out any of the Bachman easy couplers. Uh, these work better for me. But uh, this is looking pretty darn good. There are the trucks and the wheels. Look like they've got some grime on them. Here's how the bottom came out. Let's flip it around. There's the front. The other side. 
So pretty good. We'll uh, throw it on the layout and see if it'll make it around. But uh, looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, also, I got this week, I got some Tichi stop signs. And you can see, let me get a better background here. Uh, I've been painting the, the poles silver and the backs. And uh, probably only going to do those for the layout. Uh, keep these unpainted in case I want to do something different with those. But uh, going to start putting some stop signs around as soon as these are good and dry. Uh, but let's go ahead and get this over to the layout and see how it looks. All right, I got it hooked up. Just uh, doing a solo run around the layout right now. I think it's looking pretty good. All right, well, thank you so much for sharing uh, this week with me and uh, coming and visiting. Uh, that was fun getting that uh, boxcar weathered and uh, looking pretty realistic. Here it is in action. I think it looks pretty good running on the layout. So that'll be it for this week. Uh, again, thank you so much for subscribing and uh, the comments. I look forward to reading all your comments every week, and uh, I answer all of them that I can. So uh, thank you so much. Take care, and we will see you next update.